Hey, it's Joel back here with Survival Cash, and we just got done looking at the two different survival rifles that are available. Um, the Springfield Armory M6 survival rifle, which is not commercially made anymore, but you can still pick it up from time to time at a gun show. It's the M6 Scout, and the Henry US survival rifle, which is still available from uh, Henry Rifles. Uh, both the rifles uh, shot very well. Um, obviously, the uh, US uh, survival rifle from Henry was a little more comfortable. Uh, it had the uh, two clips with the uh, 16 rounds of 22 long rifle, which is really nice. The, uh, the feature that I really liked about the uh, M6 was the fact that you have uh, two barrels on here. You have the 22 long rifle for if you wanted to shoot long distance. And of course you have the uh, 410 shotgun shell for small game. And of course you can shoot slugs through there as well. Um, the uh, M6 is definitely a Spartan type rifle. Uh, not a lot of creature comforts here. Uh, the uh, trigger assembly was a little uh, funny to reach through here and have to squeeze the uh, rifle to shoot it. Um, also, switching between the two different um, barrels was a little funny. Um, wasn't really quite used to that. Uh, you have to select the upper position with this pin to shoot the 22 long rifle, or you push the pin down uh, to the lower position to shoot with the uh, 410 shotgun shell. The uh, Henry rifle was very comfortable um, shooting, uh, quite a bit lighter than the uh, Springfield Armory survival rifle. Um, one of the features I liked about this was the fact that uh, the, front pipe, the front sight post was bright orange so that when I was shooting, I could quickly acquire my target. Um, of course, the uh, M6 has a little bit more punch with the 410 shell. That's definitely a nice feature to have. Um, loading and uh, reloading was obviously a little bit more difficult with the M6. With the uh, Scout, you have two clips with a 22 long rifle, eight rounds each. So shooting this multiple times at a target uh, for either self-defense or to acquire food was uh, very easy and quick. Um, another really, really nice feature about the Henry rifle is that everything's self-contained. When you disassemble the uh, barrel and the uh, receiver, everything goes in this buttstock. So, you know, your barrel goes in here, your upper receiver goes in here, your two magazines with your 16 rounds go in here as well. So that's very nice. It's self-contained, it's waterproof, it's weatherproof. You clip this in, has a nice seal to it, very hard, durable plastic. Versus the uh, M6, once you disassemble this, um, you know, you have a lot of metal here that's uh, potential for rust, and you have to put it in this uh, carrying case to uh, carry it around. And also, one of the other features about this that um, concerns me is there's this little tiny pin here that uh, basically separates the uh, upper receiver from the lower receiver. And if I was in a survival situation and I lost that little pin, um, you know, you basically have a useless rifle unless you can somehow jerry-rig this and uh, get it to work. So overall, uh, both great survival weapons. Um, if I was in a survival situation, uh, I would definitely have to choose the uh, Henry rifle just because you have um, eight rounds of continuous fire. Uh, you have two clips, so you have 16 rounds total. Um, it's all self-contained, weatherproof, real durable plastic, and it was just a lot easier to shoot. The ergonomics of this rifle which is a lot easier. If I have gloves on, I have a nice big handle here, very nice buttstock, an orange front sight post so I can quickly acquire a target. And all in all, you know, it was a very nice rifle to shoot. So this is the uh, survival cache review of the uh, M6 Scout Springfield Armory survival rifle and the Henry US survival rifle, also known as the AR-7. Thank you, we'll see you again soon, take care.